showed what was left of the inner circle. On screen, the so-called corpse of Alfred Woden stood up, miraculously waking from his dirt nap, looking smug among his dead pals. In the land of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. I didn't know how he'd pulled it off, but it was a pretty slick way to get out of all his promises. Most of what he had said fit too well to be a load of crap. actually providing a service long overdue to the city. This crusade nonsense has gone too far. He's out of control. It must stop. He will be stopped. That was Deputy Chief Jim Rivera from the New York City Police Department.
videotape lay on the desk. Nicole Horn had blackmailed the inner circle into silence. The tape came with a curt extortion note on a piece of expensive paper. I remembered Candy Dawn taping her clients in action on the side, selling the tapes to the highest bidder. I was sure that kinky sex was nowhere near Alfred Woden's worst sin. But I had a feeling that when this was over, any collateral would come in handy. Woden had taken care of my mission preps with military precision. The critical areas in the Acer Corporation headquarters blueprints were circled in red. The president's office was at the top of the building, right below her penthouse suite. The elevators were controlled by a security computer, part of the mainframe located underground below the building. The high-rise was sealed as tight as a sci-fi fortress. Nothing seems to stop Acer Corporation's phenomenal victory march. Incredibly, the stocks are still rocketing. Worried experts already see a danger in the company's success. Some have gone as far as to say that Acer Corporation is about to become an even bigger monopoly than Microsoft ever was.
dreamed of revenge. Those dreams were always nightmares of coming close and then failing. Now I was close. I had a name to guide me, Nicole Horn. I had nothing to lose.